Good morning, guys. Um, how is everybody doing today? Oh, sorry. I'm in my living room and it's kind of dark. Let me open the curtains. So, a little update. Uh, today is Sunday, May. I don't even know, 17, I think. Um, I'm having a lot of contractions every two to six minutes. Um, little update, I've been having lots of Braxton hits. And um, since like Tuesday, they were like on and off. Friday afternoon, like around after two, I noticed that I lost a little bit of my plug. And that was Friday. So yesterday, Saturday, um, I was having on and off contractions after like around four in the morning that I noticed them. But they were regular. So after um, so after uh, I decided on Saturday, yesterday, I decided to get on the jacuzzi like around 9, 10 in the morning. And whenever I get into like hot water, it helps me. It actually takes it away or it helps me to know if it's real, real labor or just a false labor. And after I got out yesterday... Uh, we ate breakfast and I took a nap like around 1 or 2 p.m. again and they went away and they were just coming back you know so I knew it wasn't the real thing well today I was having I noticed them again like around 5 in the morning I feel I look sweaty guys because I got out of the jacuzzi and it was kind of hot and I'm having contractions so yesterday Sorry, today in the morning, I noticed that while well, I was asleep, I noticed I was having more regular contractions. So I decided, I woke up at 6.44. I decided to start timing them. And I'm having them right now every, like I said, every two to six minutes. Uh, so I've been timing them for an hour now. And I think I had one at 6.44, 6.50, 6.52. Uh, 6.55, so, so, they're, like, really, really constant right now. Oh, my hair is a mess. So, I'm about to, I think, just get ready. Everybody's asleep. That's why it's so quiet. And, um, just, my husband is still asleep, so I'm about to wake him up so he can take a shower and start to get ready. And hopefully, I'm able to, they, they are kind of painful, I think from a 1 to a 10, they're probably like around a 4 or 5. I feel that I'm able to take a lot of pain, but that's how I feel right now. But they do feel regular contractions now. So hopefully in the next two hours, we'll head to the hospital, hopefully. Right now is... Mm. I don't even know what time it is, guys. Sorry, so I'm recording from my phone. Uh, I think it's like 7 something in the morning. So, it depends how frequently they are. We'll head to the hospital. Everything's ready. I just need to, you know, try to straighten my hair, do something to it. And wake up my husband. And get ready. So, I will keep you updated as much as I can. I've been having, like I said, they're really frequent contractions. So... 
stay tuned guys hi guys sorry about the lighting it's kind of cloudy outside um i managed to straighten my hair add a little bit of concealer my husband is now taking a shower and i think uh it's 8 21 i think in the morning and i think we're gonna head to the hospital they're getting more intense and um yeah so we're just gonna we're just gonna get ready i told them i really need to get up because they're getting more intense and i just don't want to get to the hospital to a point where i'm not able to talk if they ask me questions they are pretty intense they're like every four minutes to six minutes apart now so yes keep you guys updated shortly Hi guys, how's everybody doing? Um, yes, baby A is born. She was born today at 10.44 in the morning. Guys, this has to be the craziest labor that I've ever had. So, um... As you saw in the previous videos, um, I was having contractions early in the morning and um, I got in the jacuzzi trying to see if there were false, um, it was false labor. It was the real one. It was the real one because they kept coming like every four to six minutes, my contractions. And whenever I got out of the jacuzzi, like they kept coming and uh, I actually ended up waiting just one hour before we headed out with my husband to the hospital we left the hospital I'm sorry we left our house at 8 50 in the morning um, we we're on our way my water broke at 9 12 in the morning so on our way to the hospital, my water broke on my husband's truck. It was ooh, a lot of water. Like compared to my other two daughters, it felt like a lot of water for sure. So after that, after my water broke, we got to the hospital within six minutes. Um, thank God, guys. We got into the emergency room. And there was nobody here. Like, I'm the only person that is in the whole labor and delivery that just had a baby. There was nobody here. And so I was, um, they took us into the emergency room where they check you to see if you're really in, um, in labor or not. And yes, my contractions and they check my water. My water was broken. Um, I'm going to insert a clip right here where I was only, it was, everything was so fast that I was just able to get clips of it. But this is the clip where, uh, I think it was 9.30 something, where I was in the little small emergency room where they check you. So there was just some of like small clips that I was able to get. So after all that, everything was so fast. Um, my doctor came in and I was having really, really strong contractions. Whenever she checked me, she said I was seven, eight centimeters dilated and 80% effaced. So, um, after she left, the next two contractions, they were super, super, super strong. And that's where I knew that she was gonna be born in less than like an hour, for sure. Because I remember with Valeska, 
I had my husband right next to me now. I was telling him come hold my hand. They were so, so strong. And they were just waiting for me to take me from the emergency room bed upstairs to the labor and delivery. So whenever I got those contractions, I knew immediately that I wasn't going to be able to make it. Like, I'm not going to be able to get the epidural, nothing like that. So the one of the nurses comes in and she's like, okay, we're going to go upstairs on the wheelchair. I was like, do I have to go on the wheelchair? She was like, no, it's fine. I guess since I was like the only one in the, like on the emergency, you know, the, having a baby, I was like the only one. It was like nobody here, thank God. She was like, no, it's fine. Then we can just take him on the bed. So keep in mind, the doctor had just checked me not even 10 minutes ago. So we get out of the room. My husband is behind us. And I literally feel a strong, strong contraction coming. And I was trying to hold it in. And she was like, you're doing fine. Just um take a deep breath or something then i try to hold it in because there was like people in the hallways oh my goodness and i was like oh my God. i felt the baby the baby's head right there which is like the ring of fire i think that's what they call it as soon as she opened the elevator whew, i had another super horrible contraction and i felt my i, I scream like the baby's coming my baby was born in the elevator guys yes i just felt her head i just screamed like she's coming and i felt her head and then i just felt like a little octopus her coming out like a little octopus and she checked and she just caught right away uh we just i don't even remember what she said but she had like a little radio she said um uh, we just had a baby in the elevator on the hallway i can't remember and as soon as the door opens, I see a whole bunch of nurses. I'm a, I might insert another clip um, where just a small video. My husband, like, he was just terrified. He, he, he I was the one kind of recording. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, I have a time of birth. Two minutes ago. So 44? Ten, um, sure. Yeah. 1044. Yeah, 10, 10, <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, <my> God. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I just called you fine. We're good. Any labor and delivery is never like you expected. It, it, they're all so different. Like, this is ridiculous. So, and she was covered in meconium. Covered in poop. So, they're just cleaning it. You can, you're going to be able to see it on the clip. And then, within minutes, uh, they take you to, they finally take me to my room. I'm gonna insert another clip that I was able to get with there. We're actually in the room and they still kind of cut the cord. Got you. <laughs> I mean, they, I couldn't even get it. She was just covered in poop and it was just, everybody was in shock, guys. I was like the only one giving birth and I gave birth in the elevator. Crazy story. So, um, yes uh so they cleaning her up they transfer me to the labor and deliver uh to the other to the actual room and they just like kind of transfer me to the bed they put my legs on the pedestal so they my they can deliver my placenta and after that it was history Whew, that's crazy this is gonna be a crazy story for me to tell to like other people so yes um she Mm, rip me a little bit I didn't need it, no reconstruction or anything it's just like whenever I pee just burns a tiny bit so um, yes right now it's 1026 at night uh, I wish I could have recorded everything my husband was just in shock guys like you have no idea he was in shock and I was just able to get clips and you know how everything was so fast. I have nurses coming in and out. I couldn't record nothing. Just those little clips that I was like, I have to get this. And that was it. She's here now, baby A. She weighed 7 pounds, 15 ounces. She was 20 and a half inches long. And she was born on Sunday, May 17th, 2020. 
three days before um, her due date. Like I said, I always have said my kids are always three to five days early. So yes, I'm so happy that she's here, guys. She's finally out. Um, and I'll be um, doing her name reveal really soon. Hopefully in my next video. Um, but yes, guys, just a little story. It's late, but I was like, I have to um, tell this story the same day. This crazy, crazy ass story. How my baby was delivered in the um, elevator. But you know what? Something that I that I missed too. That we were thinking, whenever I was in the emergency bed or emergency room thing. Whenever she said, uh, "Oh yeah, we're gonna go into a wheelchair," I'm thinking like, what if I actually had gotten up? into the wheelchair and she would have been born like if you see on the video she was actually between my legs can you imagine me that i have actually gone on the wheelchair my baby would have fallen to the floor this is crazy oh my goodness this is so so crazy see but yes guys um baby a is sleeping right there uh, my husband left for the night he's gonna um, uh, take he went to get the kids and get give him something to eat and he's gonna spend the night hopefully he'll be here really early because I'm only I think allowed to be here 24 hours so I got here like around 9 9 30 something I don't even remember 9 something I got here 9 20 something maybe because my water broke like around I don't even remember so for sure i'm gonna be uh discharged tomorrow everything's fine with me everything's fine with her and yeah guys hi guys just wanted to share our last hospital day we are going home she's so cute she's actually pretty long guys we're gonna go home to see her brother and sisters. Hey. You so cute? Uh -huh. You wanna see baby Shishi? Uh -huh. I got a pretty baby Shishi. I got a daddy. Yeah. Daddy? Mommy. 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 Sit right here so you can see her. Let her see it. Can you smile? Baby, baby, she, she. Is she so cute? She sleeping? Kinesma? Is she so cute? Hey, 